Being a customer is more work than you think. It's a journey of searching for and discovering people who can solve your problems and then making six key decisions about how to solve that problem with the right partner. Every customer journey starts when you identify a problem and decide to solve it. You set out in search of a product or service that just might be able to help. After searching for a while, you identify someone or several people you think might be a good fit. You then engage with them in some small way to show you're interested in potentially working with them. You visit the business in person, call for a quote, sign up for a free trial, or make some sort of micro-commitment that shows you're doing more than just browsing. Once you've done that, if things go well, you decide you'll part with your money and become a customer. But the decisions don't stop there. You've chosen your provider, but which item or service do you buy? Will the basic entry-level option suffice? Or do you need something more sophisticated, even if it costs more? What about the fries? Will you also purchase the optional extras and fill up that shopping trolley? In the course of your journey, did you uncover another problem or identify a new consideration that requires an additional item or service? And oh, was it a good experience? Will you go back and buy from this provider again? And again? And again? These are the six customer decisions every buyer must make every single time they go out to solve a problem they have. 1. Identify your problem and start the search for businesses that can potentially solve it. 2. Engage with one or more of these businesses in some small way to find out more about what they offer. 3. Choose which business is the best fit and become their customer. 4. Decide which product or service they offer will work best. 5. Determine whether to buy additional features, products or services. And finally, 6. Decide whether you'll return to this business in the future when new or similar problems arise. As a business owner, you have the power to influence each and every one of these decisions. The marketing you do, the interactions you have and the relationships you build all play a role in the six key customer decisions. In fact, these six buying decisions are the key drivers of your revenue. How easy do you make it for people who suspect you can help them to actually find your business? What are you doing to get these prospective clients to interact with you, your staff or your website once they've found you? What are you doing to convert more of these people into actual customers? How much do you help your customer decide what product or service to buy? What impact does it have on your average item price? How many items on average does a customer buy from you in a single transaction? Are you asking, would you like fries with that? And are you regularly encouraging customers to come back, transact and purchase from you again? The outcomes of these decisions determine your revenue. Subtract your expenses from that revenue and you're left with your margin, aka your profits. These six decisions, along with managing your expenses, are the seven levers of business and they are entirely in your control. Any action you take to improve the outcome of these six customer decisions will lead directly to more profits. Now you decide, what part of the customer journey are you going to work on improving today?